Welcome back to Orchard Coy for another one. Uh, today we're going to have a little trip over to Maidenhead Aquatics in St Albans. I think this is the biggest one in the UK as far as I'm aware. Um, absolutely massive shop and a paradise for any fish lover. You've got your tropical, you've got your marine, you've got your cold water and you've got just about every dry good you could possibly imagine across the board uh, to come and have a look at. So straight into the shop on the left hand side you've got like their tank showroom with all the different aquariums just again too many to look at there are that many in here all different shapes and sizes um yeah you can you can sit here and dream about your your ideal man basement or your man house if you can ever fill it up with enough fish tanks dry goods again like i said literally across the board you're going to see loads as you walk around here I'm quite interested in these uh these sea mats these reef red sea sea mats basically like filled floss floss drums for tanks uh, that you put in sumps absolutely huge place this um i said it's st albans so around the m25 uh, it's just over an hour away roughly from me so it's not too bad um good place to bring whole family if you want to it does have a soft play for your kids and it also has a little cap as well so straight over to the koi to have a look at them um I th i'm not sure if these had long been in a very heavily stocked this pond in particular um, I think the water must be on a knife edge if I'm perfectly honest in this one. Um, but they all are three separate systems and I'll show you the, uh, how they, they're, they're filtering them afterwards. This is a rarity in the main head aquatics in that they do bring in koi from Japan from specific farms. You'll see signs for Marisei and Marudo um, and some other ones dotted around. Normally, when you, you go to Mainhead, you tend to get sort of your garden centre quality coil, but this one has, does carry some nice stuff, including butterflies, if that's what tickles your fancy. But um, some, some really nice fish uh, to have a look at. Uh, so I'll let you have a look. Nice little mix of Shiro Yatsuris and Showers here. To, you could probably pick a few little diamonds in the rough from, see how they develop in the grove. I like looking at Shiros and they like this and seeing what they look like when they've developed a bit because obviously some of these are completely white but you can see the Sumi sitting there. They're always in interesting to watch them come up. And the Kahaku's ready for a nice little feed. So into the uh, pond dry good part, a lot of Oasi equipment uh, seems to be what they carry the majority of. They do have some, in the, in the middle are there, some Saki Akari foods and different types of foods to look at as well. This place is so big, oh, monkey wants some, playing that some money. Uh, this place is so big, you get a little bit lost in it. Uh, you don't know where to look at it. So back over to the koi, so I'm trying to stick to the koi first. Again, it's uh, some nice, some nice mixture of all different types really. Um, I can't remember exactly what farm those from, the sign does say it, if you can see it. In this particular tub, this this shower really caught my eye. I was quite tempted by it. Um, I think it was two hundred pound, if I remember rightly. Uh, just very almost kindar style is what I was called. Quite, quite a lot of uh, siroji, quite a bit of Benny, and a little bit of sumi sort of dotted about to balance it out. But yeah, really, really taken by that. Some really nice ones in here actually, and not not bad prices for the size of them either. They're fair, fairly substantial koi. Um, 
yeah, a little, little bit of dithering going on, but I obviously didn't purchase it because I am full up. I do think these are probably all of these, especially the first hub, like I said, are slightly overstocked. Can't imagine the water quality is fantastic, um, but the fish seem healthy enough. So that's the main thing. So then we move on to what is the, their main attraction here in this main head, and this is their, their huge main pond where they've got some of their, their resident monsters in. Some really, really nice big fish in here. Lovely show there. Look at the size of that sturgeon hunting around on the bottom. Um, I'm not sure how deep it is, but it's very deep. It was, uh, probably around eight, nine foot, I think, um, all the way to the bottom. But some absolute monsters in here in terms of their actual size. Look at the size of him. Nice, massive albino sturgeon as well. A hungry shower. Another monster sturgeon. Yeah, just just monster fish in general. And I say it's great. You can, these are the, the ponds that you can you can feed the kids. You can actually feed all of the ponds with the koi for sale as well, with the, the little uh, dispenser on the side. You pop a pound in. Look at the size of that comrie on you. Huge. As you can see, the water on this one's really, really clear crystal. Even with the massive sturgeons on the bottom, that you can see nice and clearly. You know, it's just annoying that they got the strobe lights because you know, like a giant warehouse that reflects off the top, makes it a little bit difficult to see through. Right, so uh, let's go back to have a look at the the the, the sail types. Just to show you what the systems are that set up on the back. So it looks like each one is individually running off a Nexus with an automated system on it. Um, so that's what they're using to keep these guys clean. So it just shows you what you can do with the Nexus. Again, absolute alleys of dry goods. I'm not going to sit and voice over about every single product that they've got. I mean, this is all aquarium, aquarium related or aquarium centric, but. Yeah, as you can see, absolutely tons of the stuff. Um, I'd be very surprised if you're looking for something and they haven't and they, and they haven't got it. Would shock me, but plenty to look at. And then one of their display tanks with some strange-looking turtles, which are pig-nosed turtles, which I've never heard of or seen before. So couldn't see the heads, so I couldn't really tell you why they're called pig-nosed. But I'm going to assume they look like they've got a snout on them. So anyway. Back up here, you can see again the wealth of dry goods, and we'll walk around to where the main aquarium part is for the marine and tropical. So here we are, the fish house. Great, great little aquarium set up. This, um, and as soon as you walk in, the display marine tank looks absolutely epic. Really does look nice. Really nicely scaped. Not heavy on corals. And then my personal favourite, I don't think you can beat a lovely aquascape like that when it comes to tropical freshwater. I'm not going to talk around every single one of these tanks. I'm just going to let you have a look, see what they've got. I mean, there's loads here. And I think I bore it all to death if I sit and name every single one of them. And I probably couldn't name every single one of them either, but I do love a clownfish and an enemy. It does look cool. Also, I haven't stopped on every single tank and focused on it because there are so many tanks in this place. I would have been here for about three days to film them all properly. Um, it's, it's almost a bit like going down to Tropco and trying to look at all their tanks. There's so many, you can get so lost and absorbed in them all. Um, but hopefully there's enough here for you to capture and see what they've got. And there's a little bit for everyone, hopefully. So I hope you enjoy.
These are big favourites of mine, the Zebra Plecos. Couple under there. I just think the pattern is so striking and the colours, just the way it's contrasts each other is brilliant in an, a live animal. And that pattern is just wicked. Nice selection of different corals, your LPSs and stuff that you can choose from. Had a very intense blue light. I think it looks very blue on the camera. Wasn't not quite as blue in real life, but still pretty blue. Um, nice and nice, nice and little marine section as well with some good choice of fish mixed in with the trops. Uh, just some of these Siamese fighters. I do love the Siamese fighter rack they have here with all the different males. Uh, really well kept as well. You often see these kept in horrible little containers somewhere, but these are pretty nice with a nice mass of water that's filtered. The reason I mention them is they do have the placat koi fighters that seem to be quite mainstream at the minute. You see them all over the place and they do look really nice on like different candy colours. Um, like this little guy here with the blues and the reds all mixed together. Some really, really nice ones. Oh, fancy giving a uh, go, trying to breed some of these weird and wonderful ones, see what you get out of them. Right, that's away from the fish house. Um, and the last bit I was going to walk around and show you guys is just what they offer in terms of the outdoor section for ponds and water features, water gardens, etc. The different array of statues and water features that they do. Some really nice ones, some nice dragon ones, Japanese themed stuff. Obviously, the people who like to put around the koi ponds. Um, and a good selection of, of plants as well. So, overall, it's, it's a wicked place, this. Um, it has got pretty much everything in terms of the spectrum, what type of fish keeping you're into. Um, and it's actually not a bad little place to go for half a day out if you've got your kids as well because like I said you can throw them in the soft play you can pot your missus down with a cup of coffee and a cake and then you can go and have a good wander at your own leisure um, so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed that guys uh, and seen what they've, they've got this was in oh, I think it was end of July I actually went here and filmed this uh, but I decided I was putting up too many fish tours in one go. But I do still plan to go around all different places. So if there's anywhere you'd like to see, give us a give us a comment. Let us know if you've got any nice, decent local shops near you that I'd be interested to see. I do love going and look at the different places. But yeah, I'll leave you with looking at the, the last few offerings I've got in some of the cold water section. And I'll speak to you next time, guys. Cheers for watching.